Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing lips with some teeth and I will show you exactly how to draw it and I'm drawing it with the color pencils today. I'm not starting off with the Sharpie so it looks a little realistic. So I hope you like it and let's get started. So if you like to connect with me and send me your drawing to get featured in my next upcoming videos, send it to my Facebook or my Instagram accounts. All the information is in the description box below for me. Or if you are an artist or if you just want to connect with me, you can use those platforms to connect with me as well. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way, I give you fun facts about what we draw as well. And to give you some fun facts about lips today because we are drawing lips so lips are usually red or pink mainly I find they are pink color and brown color and um, um, I love drawing lips so the however red and pink are the colors of love so healthy lips have a rosy or pinkish hue the skin on our lips is incredibly thin and has only three to six layers of cells. Um, so the rest of the body can have about 16 layers. Uh, so the lip skin is very, very thin. Uh, because of that, we are able to see the capillaries or blood vessels beneath which display a red and pink tones. Um, so the information I'm giving you today is from discovergoodnutrition.com. So if you want to look at some fun facts about lips and understand a um, few like origin and like things about lips, you can go there as well. And again, I'm not sponsored by these websites. I'm just reading some fun facts from these websites. And also the other thing I wanted to let you know, if you have any requests for me to draw for next time, don't forget to uh, let me know by commenting below and I will draw that for you. And if you have any fun facts that you would like to share as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you want good quality art supplies for affordable prices, don't forget to check out the description box below for some links. Okay, so I decided to add a lot of teeth in there as well. If you want, you can just add those rabbit teeth, like the front two teeth, and then um, color the rest of it dark black as well. Um, but I decided to put some teeth in there. So if you want, you can uh, do either one. And I will show you how I colored it as well and the full color drawing at the end of this video. And to give you more fun facts about lips, our lips never sweat and are pimple free. Um, so I'm sure you've noticed that before, but uh, if you haven't, there you go. Our lips do not have any sweat glands or oil glands. So they don't perspire and they won't break out. So this makes them even more um, pimple free, I guess, because they don't have any oil glands as well. The only um, downside is that lips don't have protective oils. They can easily get dry, flaky and chapped and irritated. So you need to have lip balm. And also our lips also need sunscreen. 
because they are incredibly susceptible to sun damage. In fact, they are more prone to sun damage than any other parts of the body. Our lips need daily UVA, UVB protection, just like the rest of the skin. I did not know that. Um, I didn't know that lips need sunscreen like that much. I knew that if you are really like under the sun that you need it. Uh, but I know that you need lip balm for sure because you get like chapped lips or dry lips otherwise. And um, as we age, the lips grow thinner. Um, so aging causes our uh, collagen production to decrease, which reduces um, the like the plum uh, look of the lips and lips also uh, shows a lot of emotions as well uh, the way the lip moves you know how people think and you know like you can really tell by just looking at the lips how the impressions are and how they express emotion and this is a really fun fact that I found uh, to be very interesting. I did not know that before, but now that I read it, I find it very, very interesting that the lips, each person has a totally unique lip and lips are like the fingerprint. So no two lip prints are exactly alike. I find it very cool as well even in this website they find it very very cool so to protect your lips you should always wear a lip balm and sunscreen um, this will help them so uh, keep them soft and smooth um, and you should also exfoliate your lips to keep them looking more youthful some people scrub their lips with to with a toothbrush um, and um, some people just use facial scrubs on their lips as well uh, you can make your uh, scrub with a bit of honey and a pinch of sugar to give that like the rough sandy texture and it only helps to remove dead skin it also tastes good because it's honey and sugar you can't go wrong with that so there you go a uh, natural uh, scrub for your lips and if you drink plenty of water uh, it keeps the lips hydrated and healthy and uh, another good thing to use is coconut oil that is also a great way to hydrate your lips naturally. Uh, just a tiny dab on your lips before bedtime will do the trick. And I got this information from discovergoodnutrition.com. So, um, like I said, I'm not sponsored by this website. I'm just reading it. I found those facts to be very useful uh, to keep your lips looking good and nice and um, healthy so if you have any interesting facts that you would like to share please comment below and let me know i would love to learn more about what i draw as well and i really hope you enjoy this drawing so it's coming together nicely so you can like for the inside of the mouth you can really make it uh, dark so that everything else pops out and for the rest of the background you can add a little bit of a skin tone so that it looks real and uh, i really hope you enjoy this and uh, let me know what you think of the drawing and if you really like this drawing don't forget to hit that like button down below as well and um, if you have any requests let me know in the comments below So now that I showed you how to color it and the colors that I've used, I will show you the full color drawing of the lip. Um, I really hope you like it. So this is the full color drawing and uh, you can also 
If you really like it, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me. And I will also put some products with this on, on my Redbubble shop so you can check it out. Like phone covers and books and things so you can check those out. And I really hope you um, check it out. And if you like it, don't forget to like those products as well. And I will now put some next videos for you to check out next. I hope you like the videos you see next as well. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. So then I hope you really have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow as always. So bye for now.